what's up youtube welcome back to the channel and just off bat if you're new to the channel i want to say like subscribe and hit the notification button so that when i drop another video you guys will be notified with that being said let's jump off into the discussion and topic for the day which so happens to revolve around will smith and jada pickett smith and their marital affair or this allegation that she confirmed was real between her and august Asina. now i don't want to jump into that right now i'm gonna say that for another another topic and another video what i actually want to talk about is the red table talk itself and what does it mean what is it for and of course we all know that it's a platform where celebrities can come they can discuss things get things off their chest talk about stuff in the tabloids stuff in the media but there's something else associated with the red table talk and while the table is red and it's round and to me i want to share that with you guys there's some hidden symbolisms and some hidden meanings i'm not alleging anything or i'm not trying to slander anybody or accuse nobody of nothing but i just want you to see things from my perspective so let's break some of this down when jada came out i believe in i believe it was june in 2018 with the red table talk the tabloids read or the headings read that red table talk is a rare show about hollywood families that doesn't focus on dysfunction there's a, another write-up that says jada smaker's red table talk has quickly become the go-to show for celebrities setting the record straight given candid and often emotional interviews so in other words this is basically a show where celebrities can come they can chill they can get stuff off their chest talk about their personal life and make personal confessions and if there's some rumors or something going around they can actually clear that up so they can declare innocence and i want you to you know keep that in mind they can declare innocence on this show so this is a celebrity show for celebrities to come and get things off their chest clear the air and declare innocence or make confessions that's important and the table itself is important because i want you all to, to bear in mind one thing when you are dealing with hollywood or people in hollywood you're not dealing with ordinary things or ordinary situations hollywood is a very mysterious a very secretive symbolic place and so the way they handle things and they do things is very different than the everyday average american or citizen or people you know like it's not how we how we do deal with things or how we handle things or how we see things is very different they 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 speak a secret language they speak another language and they speak a hidden language so i'm gonna break that down i want to take your attention to the red table itself when i look at the red table i see an image that goes back to ancient egypt or ancient kemet that that image is the image of wajet or the eye of harus or the eye of ra now if you look closely it looks very identical now this is very important and you might say oh i'm jumping to conclusions and i'm just i'm just making connections out of thin air out of anything but i'm not when you look at both images and you look at what the table represents it represents an image or a situation a circle of truth a circle of confession and so when you look at that image and you look at the eye of ra the eye of harus or the white jet it also represents truth and another thing another thing that i really wanted to touch on about this red table this is the place where celebrities go and celebrities come and just like harus or the eye of ra celebrities are considered stars stars of hollywood they are the stars of hollywood so you have stars circling or coming around this red table that in my opinion this is just my opinion but the imagery of the red table itself has a striking resemblance to the eye of harus or the wajet which is the winged cobra and you see that that red sun disk it has a striking symbol similarity and resemblance to the ancient kemet symbol of the eye of ra or the eye of harus so you have celebrities they're stars and they're circling around this table and they're coming and they're giving their confessions there's something in ancient egypt or in ancient kemet that is called the confessions of mayat and the confessions of mayat is the hall of judgment and this is where you go in the afterlife and in order to join or to ascend into the heavens because the pharaohs believed they themselves were joined into the stars which is why the stars of hollywood is very similar also to the mythology of ancient kemet of how the pharaohs are connected to the stars because this is where they ascend to which is in 
the region of uh, Ursa Minor and Ursa, Ma uh, Ursa Major. So back to the Red Table. So you come around, you have these celebrities, these stars, which represents the stars of Hollywood, the constellations of Hollywood, and they're sitting around what strikingly resembles the Eye of Harus giving their confessions and their declarations of innocence, which is what people did or in the mythology of ancient Egypt. When you passed on, you went into the Hall of Judgment and you gave your 42 con negative confessions to Mayet. And the confessions were your declarations of innocence. Now, I'm not saying this is what, what, what is going on. I don't know. This is just my opinion. But to me, this is just not your everyday, uh, normal conversation going on. This seems to be, in my, my opinion and in my view, something more akin to a ritual or a secret or hidden ritual that's going on in Hollywood. So with this going on, if you look closely, even if you look closely, if you look closely to the episode with Will and Jada about, you know, the rumors with them and August Asina and with her affair, if you look at what she's wearing, look around her neck, she's wearing an Ankh. She's wearing a symbol of ancient Egypt. So again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, trying to say this is fact or legend anything but i'm just saying from my view and from my perspective and from my opinion there is a lot of stuff going on again i'm not alleging anything i'm not trying to say that this person their lifestyle is and you know people have a right to live however they want to live and believe however they want to believe but again i don't think when you're dealing with hollywood you're dealing with people that are strictly living by the laws and the codes of the god of abraham i just don't so again i'm not alleging anything but I'm saying from my perspective and from my view, I'm seeing a lot of symbolisms that has to do with ancient Kemet. And so I believe a lot of practices and ceremonies and rituals are secretly being practiced and done in Hollywood. And you can see some of that similarity in Jada Pickett Smith's show, her Red Table Talk. So with that being said, I'm still going to touch on the situation with her and August Asina. I don't think he really should have spoke on that. That wasn't his place. But I just wanted to touch on the whole show. The show as a whole. You know, when I think about it, when I look and when I see symbols and how my brain makes connections and how my spirit, you know, kind of connects to certain things and what my spirit says and how, you know, I just have this spirit of discernment. And so I, that's that's kind of how I feel about the whole show as a whole. But anyway, so with that being said, if you like this video, like, subscribe and hit the notification button. Do not forget to hit the notification button so you'll be notified of the next video I drop. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. And I'm thinking of making a follow-up video touching on the whole August I've seen a situation because I don't feel that was his place to drop that. But again, until then, I'll see you guys next time.